Welcome to our chapter three mid chapter checkpoint. This is on page 113. We are going to do the odd numbers together on this recorded video and in the live session we will go through the even numbers. So numbers one and three are vocabulary and so I need to try to figure out what word or words will fill in the blank correctly. So when you combine equal groups you can blank to find how many in all. So when you combine equal groups, you can equal groups. That one doesn't make sense. When you combine equal groups, you can factors to find how many in all. That doesn't sound right. When you combine equal groups, you can multiply to find how many in all. Maybe. When you combine equal groups, you can product to find how many in all. No, nope. I think it's multiply. And I remember in my work yesterday, I was multiplying when I combined equal groups. So that does make sense. So I remember Ms. Cohn said, mathematicians have to stay organized. That's our unit, how do we organize ourselves? So mathematicians, they make marks, they use symbols, they cross off their lists. That's one way mathematicians stay organized. Number three, the numbers you multiply are called the equal groups. Hmm. Maybe. The numbers you multiply are called the factors. Maybe. The numbers you multiply are called the product. Mm, it's numbers called the product. Mm, I don't think so. And oh, and I remember product is not the numbers you multiply. I remember that one is the answer. So the numbers you multiply are called the equal groups. Could make sense, but this time it is factors, and it gives me a hint. I could go to page 106 and flip back to find the vocabulary. So in the mid-chapter review, I want to use that. It says the factors are the numbers multiplied. So I remembered that and wanted to go back to it. Let's go look at number five concepts and skills. We're going to count equal groups to find how many. So blank groups of blank, blank in all. So I have how many groups? I have one, two, three, four groups of one, two, three, four, five. Four groups of five. So I'm counting by fives. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I have twenty in all. Now I'm going to write related addition and multiplication sentences. Three groups of nine. Every time I see this groups of, it's three groups of nine. This to me, the multiplication sign means three groups of nine. Or three, adding nine three times. So nine plus nine plus nine. And I remember I could turn around the numbers I'm multiplying. And I'm not sure if we've talked about the nines finger trick yet, but you're gonna see it here. If I am gonna do nine times three, I'm gonna take and put down my first, second, third finger. Then I have two fingers on the left side of the finger that went down, that's my tens digit, 20. And I have seven fingers on the right side of the finger that went down, that seven. So nine times three, first, second, third finger went down, nine times three is 27. So if nine times three is 27, three times nine is 27. Or I could go do the repeated addition, nine plus nine is 18, 18 plus nine more, it's almost 10, which would be 28, but it's one less, so it's 27, okay? Now we're going to draw the jumps for number nine on the number line to show equal groups. We find the product, which when we double checked, we remember the product is the answer. So six groups of three, six times three. I'm gonna put that down here, six times three. Six groups of three, I'm gonna jump every third. So I'm jumping over two lines, right? That's one other way I can think of it. So three, six, I'm doing six groups of three. One, two jumps, three jumps, four jumps, five jumps, six jumps. Six jumps of three gets me to 18. 
All right, turning the page to page 114 on the back, and we're going to solve number 11 and number 13 right now. So this is page 114, just on the back. So let's look at Avery. Avery had 125 animal stickers. She gave five animal stickers to each of her 10 friends. How many animal stickers did she have left? What number sentences did you use to solve? So I'm gonna make more than one number sentence. First step, I need to know how many stickers she gave away. She gave away 10 to each of 10 friends. So 10 groups of five. 10 groups of five. Each of the 10 friends got five. So 10 times five. I'm counting by tens five times. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 10 times five is 50. So how many stickers did she have left? I haven't answered that yet, but I know that she gave away 150. She started with 125. So that's my whole. I'm gonna take 125 minus 50, and actually I wrote it horizontally, but I know it's easier to stack it and line it up. So I'm gonna rewrite it. Five minus zero is five. Oops, I can't do two minus five, so I have to borrow. Oh, it's just 12. So is it eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13? No, it's not. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yes. The difference between, if I can remind myself, 7 plus 5 is 12, right? So I've got 125 minus 50 is 75. So she has 75 stickers left. All right, and then number 13, I've got Lindsay has 10 inches of ribbon. She buys another three lengths of ribbon, each five inches long. How much ribbon does she has, have now? So this is also two steps. She's buying three lengths of five each. Three of five is 15 inches, but she already started with 10 inches. So 10 inches plus 15 inches equals 25 inches. All right, come to the live session and we'll go through the rest together.